Today is a happy and it is a significant occasion for Bobby and Amanda Buzzer as groups here in this church. And um, they're here to dedicate their son Tyler and the Buzzer to the Lord. And um, by the way, if he doesn't stop crying, it won't be the first baby. <laughs> That cry for this time. Here's some scriptures from uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 to 7. It says, Hear, O Israel. Don't disregard it because we're not of Jewish blood and ancestors. Don't disregard this. We, we are Israel, uh, but by faith we are, we are grafted in. We are part of, 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 of the people of God by faith. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Did you ever press something? <coughs> Impress these commandments on your children. Impress them. Talk about them. When you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. And so these commandments, the, the word of the Lord. From Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 4, children obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Honor thy father and mother which is the first commandment with promise. We're speaking that in faith right now. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And you fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. In the Gospel of Mark chapter 10, people were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth. Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. The scriptures remind us that children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. God entrusts them to us to rear in the fear of God and in his service. As parents, we must be vigilant from earliest childhood to stress the importance of God's presence in our lives. This must be done not only by our words, but by our actions. Parents must model their Christian life before their family, with the hope that one day their children will also follow Christ, be baptized as believers, and give testimony to their faith. In child dedication, parents not only offer their children to the Lord, they offer themselves to the dedication of a child is only made complete when parents dedicate themselves to be living examples of the Christ-like life before their children and bring them up in the training and the instruction of the Lord. All right, we're going to ask you to come. This red flower is given to you to represent your role in raising your son. Bringing up a child, of course, is done best by two dedicated parents. But as Tyler's father, this red flower is that represents first the importance of your family bloodline. In most societies, it's the bloodline of the father that is, that is considered to be continued in the children. 
You are the keeper of this trust. You are expected to teach your child what this means. It's your responsibility to instruct them in the value of a good name and a good reputation. Likewise, you must conduct your own life to be an example of this before you. The Bible puts you in a unique position to be the priest and leader of your family. Take this responsibility with great seriousness. No one else will do it for you. Lead your family in prayer and spiritual matters. Be the leader without being the dictator. Be a father that your young child can follow in life and in heaven. The red flower also represents the work of Christ in giving his blood for the salvation of men and women. At the appropriate time, you are challenged to make sure that your son has the way of salvation made clear. <coughs> so a choice can be made for him, for Christ. Follow that choice when he decides by assisting him to grow as a Christian and to serve him.
by the way, they came home for this, this event. They have been participating in the congregation, so they're taking the services and you don't see them here next to them. They're the home church they're working at. And do you promise to pray for Pilate that he will be saved? Come to his own personal confession of Jesus Christ, thereby coming into the fellowship and service of the church. If that's what's in your heart, the promise before God and these witnesses, please respond by saying you do. I now give to you this, this Bible, God's Word. Let, let the Word of God be the light and guide that's needed to instruct you as parents in raising Tyler. Teach him its precepts and doctrines. Use it to guide his young life and the way that you go. And always strive to keep this Word before your son so that will become a part of his life. Now we're going to pray, and then after I pray, I'm going to hold him, and then let you answer <clears throat> Let's pray together. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, and we do bring Tyler to you, Lord, the daughter of Noah. And Lord, we were formed in the womb of his mother, Lord, you were there. And Lord, you put him together. Bless you. Oh Lord, you say we're fearfully and wonderfully made. Lord, you have given him the body and the man. And we ask you, O oh God, that you would grant them the strength they need to be godly parents, the wisdom to make right choices. Lord, give them grace to be discerning of all of the things they need to discern as they rear him, O oh God. We pray, Lord, that you would help them to raise Tyler to love you to fear you, to serve you. Bring help to them, Lord, when it's needed. And Heavenly Father, we pray and ask that he would always follow your word and your leading. Lord, bless him, watch over his life, preserve him. Lord, we ask that your presence, your anointing would rest upon him, so that, Lord, you, he may be glorified, you may be glorified in him, O oh God. We ask for this in the name of Jesus. And Lord, bless their family. Lord, bless Bobby the man and Tyler. Bless the Lord with, with knowing you better, seeing you more clearly, strength to do your will. We ask for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, as we dedicate you, Tyler, Landon, Southern, unto God and anoint you with oil as a symbol of the Holy Spirit, under His protection and guidance, we are sealing you. We do this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is yours. The Lord is yours. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Now, I'll, I'll hold them, and there's a little document over there I'm going to ask you to sign. And there's a certificate that, uh, after making a copy of it, um, you'll, you'll get it, and you can have that somewhere that'll remind you of the vows you've made, remind you of the mistake. So, I'll be thinking. Everyone of your family members. So we're glad to have you here. 